Hey guys, it's Matt Golds from Gamers Cast with my initial review of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. Um, now, as you guys know, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, favorite game of all time, hands down. This playthrough of the game, the 3D version, my first run of this, will be my seventh run for, through the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I bought the game early this morning. It's about a uh, few hours later now. 2, 3, 4 o'clock. I'm not really sure what time it is. I've just been playing the game since I got it. A little more than halfway through right now, and I just wanted to give you my review of it as it stands right now. And I have to say, um, the game is absolutely fantastic. Um, I was actually not surprising the remake to be so, like, refined yet close to the original. The tension of detail, the level of the 3D effect, absolutely fantastic. Um, everything about the game is fantastic. Even the original speedrun tactics from the original game still take a pl um, still work here. Like in the original Ocarina of Time, how you, in the room with the rising, the lowering water in the Deku Tree, how you could jump off the platform, hit the pole, land back on the platform, and walk through the spikes. That still works. If like all the original speedrunning tactics work, the physics of him backstepping still work. The sidestep physics pretty much the same. Maybe it's a tad slower, perhaps, but not too much. And e and the backflip is a bit slower, but the animation's a lot smoother and cooler, so it really isn't that huge of an issue. And e all the original qualities of the game are preserved. The game's running at a much quicker frame rate, and the game's artwork's based on the original artwork, so it's fantastic. Um, few gripes that the fact that you can only use Y and X to equip items are a bit odd, though you can use these Roman numerals 1 and 2 slots, but you have to tap them in order for them to work, so they're not as intuitive. So you really will only be using X and Y unless it's a specialty item like Zelda's Note or a Keaton Mask or something like that. The Ocarina doesn't get equipped though. That's um, it's a whole other thing itself. Roman numeral three, if you will say. But as it stands right now, the game is absolutely fantastic. The mechanics are just as you remember them, even more refined. So I, it feels so like similar to the original game and so true to it that's almost practically like an emulation but it's not and feels fantastic no frame drops no lag no skipping the gyroscope works phenomenally even when you're L targeting you can move your DS around to get a better perception of the battle see what's moving on around you absolutely f fantastic and then once the single player game's over there's boss rush mode where you can either fight individual bosses from the past as you could in Majora's Mask but in a nice more streamlined menu or you can go and fight them all at once. Then there's Master Quest with the inverted map and double damage. So Master Quest is a fucking bitch now to beat. Um, other than that, they're new as the Sheikah Hint Stone movies. Not gonna touch those, but those aren't in the Master Quest, so that's pretty cool for you out there. Master Quest is going to be significantly harder with the double damage added for all attacks. Anyways, um, that's my initial. These are my initial. This is my initial impression review of the game. But I don't really expect there to be any more issues. If there's any issues, um, anything that conflicts with this review at all, as I continue to play it more and do multiple runs of it, I will let you know. But as it stands now, a masterful remake of my favorite game of all time. The game gets a 10 out of 10.